how to deal with the 3D reality when it's triggering you the hell out of you when you're manifesting a specific person or perhaps some money or whatever it is that is specific that you are manifesting because many many times we get triggered by the 3d reality especially when we are manifesting something specific like for example a specific person because they might not conform immediately and we hear all of this stuff about don't pay attention to the 3d ignore the 3d or analyze the 3d so it can show you something about yourself well let me tell you a way that it's much more simple in order to get your manifestation and deal with the 3D in the meantime that it's conforming. All right, you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nea, and I make manifestation and the law of assumption effortless and easy for you to understand because to be honest, we have no time to waste. I love to manifest the impossible. I love to manifest in an easy, simple, fast way. So why not doing it? At the end of the day, it's all assumption. And I don't understand this entire thing of oh you know the 3d is showing you something about yourself about your subconscious belief let me tell you something about the 3d and then i'll tell you how to deal with it when it comes down to the 3d the 3d three-dimensional space you know a length height and width it's nothing but the zero 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 one percent of reality 95% of this universe and your reality it is composed actually of energy and you know matter dark and uh, dark matter and dark energy which we do not know a lot about we only know that it exists and we only know that it's invisible so every single time that you're paying attention to the 3d reality i want you to stick this into your head and realizing that you're only paying attention to zero 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 one percent of what is actually real and so that is why seeking for movement over science in the 3d reality can actually hinder your progress now when in the 3d reality something shown to you that it's conforming to your desires and imagination bask in it and pay attention to it you obviously even neville goddard used to say this you want your brain to be sort of like scissors selecting the states that you want and selecting the things that you want and giving meaning only to what is serving you or is serving your manifestation so let's say that your sp is conforming you're receiving a text or whatever it might be your manifestation of course pay attention to that and bask into that state but erase all the rest now when it comes down to the three, 3D reality, another thing, I wouldn't pay attention so much, especially if you want to manifest effortlessly or in a simple way. Like all this auto analysis that it's a bit much meaning in other words oh you know if there is the third party or there is this and that it means because you created that hence you must work even more in your self-concept listen fine work on your self-concept but work on your self-concept because you want to and you want to better yourself but know at the same time that you're perfect just the way you are and it doesn't it does not matter why you are in the circumstances that you are. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there is a third party, it doesn't matter the reason or why it in your memories or your subconscious mind you have created that. Because the only thing that matters is that you know that you have created that and you can change it. The more you bask into the auto, sometimes it is good, but sometimes people get lost in shadow work or they get lost into, you know, there must be something wrong with myself and it's because of my past and it's because of my memories and I don't feel enough. The more you pay attention to that chances are you're just only re going to recreate that situation my advice to you especially if you want to manifest effortlessly in a fast way ignore it altogether it does not matter just ignore it and so the problem is that the majority of people once you tell them ignore the 3d reality they can't do it and it is evident why because they are still thinking about their desire now i made a previous video about how to deal with the 3d and how to actually not react because it's not about not reacting but it's about reacting from that place of being wanted chosen chosen needed or having the money but that's a different topic and you can watch the other video on this video i want to emphasize on the practical thing that you should do in order to ignore the 3d that helped me out tremendously manifest more than a specific 
person, making come for my specific person, having money and all of that jazz. When you are dealing, let's say for instance, you see a third party or there is something that is really triggering you or you are in one of those days because we are not, you know, we can't be happy all the time and I made a video about toxic positivity. So if you are in one of those days where you feel impatient, where you feel that nothing is conforming, nothing is going your way, you want to give up, many people confuse in my and i'm not saying that this is you and i'm not saying this is universal truth i'm just sharing my perspective but many people confuse persisting with insisting on something there is a slight subtle difference in persistent and persistence and insisting when you are persisting you are persisting in the consistent of your wish fulfilled meaning in other words you know you're going to end up with this person you know you're going to get the money you know that it is done this is persistence and you keep uh, pay attention to your mental diet and you just keep uh, moving yourself into the state of the person, that girl, that boy, that man, that woman that already has what you want. It's all about you. It's not about the specific person or the specific thing that much or as much as you think. But many people, when they get triggered by the 3D, instead of persisting, they insist. Insist means they get even more obsessed with the SP. They get even more obsessed with the specific manifestation. And you can tell. You can tell by the movement of your mind. You can tell by, I feel so triggered about this. I saw this person kissing someone else or being with a third party or something else has happened. And I just affirm even more. And I insist even more. You see how cringy this energy is? It's like, I insist. Don't do any of that. Because even if you don't believe in resistance, insisting, it's kind of the opposite state of having something. When you have something, you don't seek for it, you don't insist, you simply have it. And it's much more peaceful, neutral at the very least. And so what is it then? I have to ignore the 3D. What is it then that I'm supposed to do, that you're supposed to do? Go general. That's that easy. Instead of insisting on a specific thing that in that very moment is triggering you, go general about it. That doesn't mean that you're giving up on your SP. That doesn't mean you're giving up on your dream job or your particular manifestation. I'm not saying that at all, but I want you to go there, to go there in the specific of what you want when you feel good about it, when affirming feels good. Feels good doesn't mean toxic positivity, doesn't mean I feel happy and excited all the time, no. It feels, I say this affirmation and I feel good, you know? This feels nice. And then I move on with my day. But if I am seeing something that is triggering me, my mind cannot say ignore it. Our mind are constructed in a way to interpret and understand the 3D world. So you know, turning your head like that might be very, very difficult for many people. Some people can do it. And if you can do it, I mean, you do you, it's great. But some people can't do it and it's fine. I want you to feel fine if you can't do it. So you see something that triggers you, rather than insisting on that specific affirmation for a couple of minutes, for a couple of moments, try to take a step back and just affirm something general. Like, let's say your SP didn't text you or nothing is happening in this particular moment because things can change any minute. But in this particular moment, you don't feel good about it, okay? Let's be honest over here. So if you don't feel good about it, but you know that you have to keep the state of being the person that already has what you want, you go general. So rather than insisting on an affirmation about a specific person for a couple of minutes, I'm not saying you have to do this all day, or maybe just for a day, Go general. Go in general means affirming something such as everything is wonderful. You know, I am so appreciative, appreciative of my amazing, healthy relationship without naming perhaps the SP for a minute. You just go general and you step into the state of the person that is already in a happy, committed relationship or everything is wonderful. I am so happy because I'm taking a walk at the park or, you know, I feel peaceful, peaceful. Usually what I did, what I do, did and what I do every single time that I go triggered about the, um, the 3D reality reality even when I reacted because I'm it's human I, you know I'm human I just said everything is wonderful any minute now my um, my manifestation is coming uh, going general about anything allowed me to affirm something that made me feel good 
in that moment, in that present moment. And so I wasn't building up resistance, or if you don't believe in resistance, I was just feeling better about it. And by taking a step back and affirming something more general, then later on in the hours or days or weeks, depending on you, depending on your mood, I was able to later on shift back to a specific affirmation without feeling any sense of insisting or resistance. By moving your mental diet through general statements when you are triggered by the uh, 3D reality and then when you feel a little bit better going back to the specific you are going to make sure that your manifestation are never building resistance and they are never triggering you and you're gonna get them a lot faster in my humble opinion in this way this is a trick that I found that has helped me out tremendously so I want you guys to try it I am NOT saying that I own all the truth of the universe this is only my personal experience but it's very similar to go back to the blank state or going back to a state of just I am present when you feel triggered in this way 3d reality gets uh, the meaning that you want it to attribute now obviously so many other coach are going to say well you can give the meaning even in specific you can see the third party and literally say oh they only want me and they only love me fair enough if you can do that for sure, you can still affirm specifically. I'm not saying that that doesn't work. I am addressing this video to people that when they see something like someone else kissing, someone that you like kissing someone else or getting triggered or this person telling you, I don't want you and block you and that hurts and you feel the pain in your heart and, and it's real, I don't want you to ignore that pain. I don't want you to insist on a specific affirmation that might hurt even more. I want you to go within yourself and take a general statement that makes you feel slightly better. And then from slightly better, you build upon it. And then you build upon it, you feel a little bit better, you feel a little bit better, you, you, you know, you you handle these feelings and you transform them naturally in something that makes you at least feeling neutral and then when you are in a neutral state you don't feel that hurt anymore then go back to the specific i promise you guys if you do this manifesting and not reacting or actually ignoring the 3d reality in the process of manifestation will be a lot easier because think about it for a second i am not saying that you're not going to get your sp that's not the truth your subconscious mind knows exactly what you want. Infinite intelligence knows exactly what you want. It's not because you're going to dedicate a couple of hours where you feel stressed about a specific situation to a general statement that you're not going to get what you want. This is false. And if you think this way, perhaps you're coming a little bit from fear of losing something. When in actuality, you should feel, I cannot lose what it's mine because I already have it. So ponder this you know uh, watch the video again and think about it am i afraid just to affirm something general once in a while because i'm afraid to lose the manifestation you're not we are just trying to step every single day in the state of the person that already have it as it with persistence but not insistence okay so moving from general affirmations such as everything is wonderful i will have what i want any minute now to going specific when it feels good will allow you to do this effortlessly enjoying the process and the journey of manifestation and getting to the results in a fast pace because there is no resistance build it up build it upon sure you can affirm i don't believe in resistance however mental diet it's not about insisting on a particular thought in my humble opinion but it's about observing the movement of the mind and direct them without effort but in a natural way towards the thing that you want and towards the state that you want to achieve so that's my take on this one on how to ignore 3d reality and i think i already made a video similar to this but this is my updated version i hope you really enjoyed this video i make also extra videos where i talk even more about the law of assumption we do challenges together i even have a meditation on how to get into the blank state on my patreon so you can follow extra videos that i release every single week on my patreon as well and i hope to see you here very soon as well to just talk even more about the law and discovering more things together comment down below let me know your stories and let me know your your thoughts about this and i'll see you very soon bye